what is known as a basic architecture okay so exam mode they going to ask you like what is known as a basic network architecture software explain in brief okay so as per our knowledge we have a two models we have in a basic network model one is a ocm model and two is a tcp ip model okay so today we are going to discuss about the OCA model. Okay? We are going to discuss about OCA model. As we know that OCA model is captured through like a layered framework. Okay? And where we are going to use that, we are going to be communicating the computer system on our file and we are going to use it. So, OCA model captures seven layers. How many layers do you capture? Seven layers. So, what the layers we have in the OCA model? Please be not aware. So, number one we have in the application layer. Number one we have in the application layer. And then we have in the application layer. Then we have in the session layer. Okay? Transport layer. Transport layer. Transport layer. Transport layer. Physical. Okay? Now, coming to this application layer. What exactly application layer is going to be contained? So I can call that the application layer is nothing but networking layer. What is that? Networking application layer is not right. Suppose we have a something like a Chrome, are it Mozilla, Firefox, are it uh, WhatsApp call, Facebook, are it you will be all those to be seen, right? So this everything will be depending on the networking. Everything is depending on the network, right? So in this application layer, you can call them all in a networking layer. In this application layer, what we have to we have to follow some protocol. What protocols we have? We have HTTP. Okay. We have HTTP, S, FTP. Okay. So like this, we have to get some protocols now. Okay. So in this FTP. If you want to transfer IP, you will observe that you have to transfer some data from one place to another place. Suppose you are downloading some file from your internet, right now. How you are downloading them? What mechanism is their background? So you can call them with FTP. File, transfer, protocol. What is that? File, transfer, protocol. Based on the protocol, this is networking layer. This application layer is going to be taken care of. Okay, like that simultaneously, we have again other protocols like HTTPS. Yes. So hyper text transfer protocol. So whenever you are using any browsers or anything, browser doesn't contain anything. You need to have, if you want to access any of the websites or anything, you need a browser application, right? You need a browser application. So that is what we are talking about applications. But here I am talking about application layer. Try to understand the definition. Might be uh, thinking about the application we have it, like a, a MS Office, Word, video, all those things. But what I am calling, we are calling application. Those are application. Here I am talking about application layer. What I am talking here? I am talking about application layer. Application layer is depending on that network layer. Network layer is depending on the different protocols. Again, each protocol having a some set of rules. If you want to transfer the data, you need to have an FTP protocol. If you want to uh, walk and access the internet, all those things, we need to have an HTTP protocol. And uh, here we have one important question mark. I'm having here one computer. Here I'm having a one computer. So I'm always saying that in the center, the receiver, and the uh, I'm calling it the message is going to be sent in. So far, so good. So far, so good. But if this is the system belongs to uh, Windows or if the system belongs to Android, what will be going to happen? How oh, both the different environment of system can be connected in a network? How we can do that? Is it any way? So you are accessing every day. Like you are accessing a lot of websites, a lot of things are there. Yes or no? Did you know anything about that? What type of environment is there? Where this file, where the data is going to be stored? No? 
but here in this application layer, 